Okay, we're back in the uh, the eel lands. What is this called? The, the the eel place. Let's go talk to the other fish. Apparently, some new fishies have arrived. Some new creatures. Coral reef, kelp forest, moss cavern. Still the same spots, but yeah, definitely more life forms. So that's interesting. So zones are gonna open up. Oh, a little manta ray. What's this way? Coral reef. Okay. What's up, bro? Used to live with my flock in mid seas. Then a few of us left for warmer waters. I ran out of energy and got left behind. Guess this is my new home now. But you know what? I think it's gotta be okay. That is a good outlook, my dude. That is a good outlook. But I'll keep my eye out for you, buddies. How many pages? It's still just the other one? Okay. So the, that last page may reveal itself over time. Can I ever tell you about the creature I once saw here? Big, regal, eel-like, bold, and beautiful. Nothing bad to say about him. Give him my fondest regards if ever you see him. All right, I will tell Aleel that Tulip says hello. Ooh, who are you? What the? You like a little sea slug? Oh, look at you. Zippy. Yikes! <laughs> you scared me there. See, I'm a little more skittish than most sea cucumbers, if you couldn't tell. Oh, a sea cucumber. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Seems like good survival instinct. Keep at it. Thanks. You need to move out of the way, though. I gotta be on the lookout for real danger here. <laughs> okay. Good luck, bud. Be safe. Sup, eel? Just recently, I saw another eel here with golden fins and scales the color of a stormy sea. But wouldn't you know, I couldn't get a good read on them by their smell. I didn't know what to make of it. It was truly a first. You and your nose. Can you hear them? The world's melodies? They're more dissonant now, like they've all gone off in their own directions. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Uh huh. Dissonant melodies. I just got a uh, achievement for that as well. Dissonance doesn't have to be an ugly or painful thing, but it does take some getting used to. Dissonance concerns me. Dissonance is usually associated with um, strife, we'll say. What's up, bro? Burrow? I've been thinking about traveling alone since you were here before. Starting to think maybe it'd be fun to try it for a while. I bet you get into fights a lot less when you're alone. And there's more food for you if you don't have to share it. I mean, maybe. Hmm, you could probably play a song if you came at them at the right angles, you know? I think a little bit of each friend you ever had stays with you. Even if it's something annoying, maybe you'll be able to happy to see it. Maybe you'll be happy it's there someday. <laughs> Took me a little while to read that one. Okay. Yeah, no, I think that's true. Friends have an effect on you. They leave an impact. Some more little worms down there. All right, what's over here? Oh, what are you? Oh, it's one of those guys. Sup, Stargazer? Munch. You see that big bright disc up in the sky? That big disc hanging up there? Looks tasty, doesn't it? Looks like a good snack. I want to eat it. Bring me that big tasty disc. That's the sun. I can't bring that to you. Fine. It'll come down eventually, right? If I wait here long enough, it'll fall right into my mouth. Oh, Munch. Good luck. Did you decide to bring me that big tasty disc? Still so hungry. I'm afraid I still can't. Man, you're stingy. That's okay. I'll wait however long it takes for it to fall down here. Just a matter of time. Well, I appreciate your... Uh, commitment, my friend. I appreciate it. I am still a little shocked about not finding that page, but, you know, like I said, maybe it'll... Maybe it'll reveal itself later. Alright, we've talked to all the new fish. Still not seeing a new place to go, but... Um, the manta ray did mention... The, um... The mid seas, so maybe that'll unlock soon. Um, what's your name? Glide. Home's not about where you are; it's about how happy you are to be there. <laughs> not bad, eh? All right, so let's go uh, quickly talk. Go back to Eel, and talk about uh, or Eliel, and talk about the people that talked about him. Hey, how's it going? Looking to chat for a bit? I had a strange vision. I was like one of the gods appearing on the stars. Oh yeah, by the way, what was that? Yeah, you've always gotten those. They seem to hint at which god's going to be the next creator. Which one did you see this time? It was Lutra, I think. Ah, Lutra. All right, that's exciting. The larva's understanding of things isn't quite the same as ours, eh? Maybe the world it creates will be a bit tough to wrap our head around. <laughs> but hey, it's still early in the game. Someone else might pull ahead. Okay, um... I'm asking about the gods. Uh, nope. 
Uh, how would you describe Lucha's way of thinking? Hmm. Well, let's not kid ourselves. Lucha spends a lot of time thinking about food. It's understandable when it's so hungry. <laughs> but other creatures are going to start suffering if Lucha can't find a way to rein itself in. Maybe that's just the way nature works, though. Survival of the fittest and all that. Anything else you want to ask about? No, I'm all set. See, that's why I'm glad that, um... That, uh, Amar had that interaction with Lutra. Oh, look! Oh! We've completed two of the Lutra missions, bonds, whatever they are. One of the twins and one of Amar's. So I guess that as we start to clear those, the, all of these will light up and that'll be all of our missions. Now it's making sense. Now it's making sense. So let's go back and talk to the twins. And then I get, I'm assuming that as we get further along, we will unlock um, more zones to visit, you know? Where are they at now? There's Lord Poison. My dude, Lord Poison. Twinsies? Are you hiding over here? What, what's up? Oh, they're up there. Hmm. Oh, you're in here. Okay. Oh, there wasn't the dark spots. What's up, y'all? Oh, hey, new friend. This is one of our favorite hiding spots. Usually no one can find us here. Did you want to talk about something? Did Amar come by yet? Yeah, finally, and it was awesome! Amar took us out to the kelp forest, which we'd never ever been to before. It was totally crazy, like more fish than anywhere else and all the huge leaves. Amar wanted to do a race through the forest? That sounded fun, so we said yes. But they didn't even go the same way as us. They knew a shortcut to the finish line and went that way instead? That's cheating. We should all go the same way in a race to see who's fastest. So for the next race, we told Amar to go only go the same way as us and not use any tricks. It actually worked, believe it or not. Amar didn't do anything unfair to just to win like all the other times. We still lost though. Amar's too fast. Anyway, there's a lot more fun than last time. I guess Amar is not as much of a jerk as we thought. Yeah, and since you were the one that told them to come play with us, uh, um, thanks, I guess. Hey, I'm glad we met you, new friend. Yeah, I'm glad you had a good time. Want to talk about something else? Okay, like what? Um, I want to ask you about someone. Like who? How do you feel about Lutra? We still feel pretty bad about before. We haven't gone to see it again. I'm kind of afraid we might just scare it. Maybe someday we can go back. We want to say we're sorry, at least. Uh, I see. Want to talk about something else? Um. Well, I know how they feel about Amar, because they just talked about that. Okay. So now that we completed that fable. Ah, now we'll go talk to Amar about what they did together. That makes sense. Because you need to complete it from both sides, not just the one side. Where you at, Amar? Ha, there you are. Gorgeous. Listen to the music. Love it. Oh, let's swim with the fishes real quick. Oh, I love it, dude. It's just gorgeous. Like, absolutely flippin' gorgeous. Look at that dolphin. Ah, oh, love it, man. All them there fishies. Ah, oh, he's gonna unlock this thing. That's gonna get us into the new zone. Oh, hey there, friend. Over here. Good timing. I wanted to show you something. See that big door behind me? The one who built it does a lot of experiments in the ocean. And when she's away from her lab in the mid-seas, she keeps this door here locked down. But now it's unlocked, which means you should be able to head through and see what's out there. Me, I prefer it here, where the water's warmer and brighter. But I know you like to travel and see new things, so you'll probably love it. Just wanted to let you know. Take it easy. Okay, okay. Now... Have all right. There are not any more new fish. There are not any more new pages here. So let's head to the mid seas. Ooh, I think this is going to be the knowledge one. And so then I'm guessing that the final god is the the one with the only one mission. This is interesting. Oh, I like this, y'all. Slowly unraveling. Ooh, ooh, no pages, only fish. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about experiments. Interesting. Oh, y'all. Deep sea scares me, okay? I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. <gasps> Whales! Sup, bro? 
Oh. Hello out there! Yes, you. I can see you. If you'd like to talk, please address the loudspeaker near the main entrance. Uh, just give me a sec. I want to go say what's up to this awesome whale. I do not remember you. Yet you have been here before. Somewhere within you. You already know this. Oh, okay. That's creepy. Um, we're going to spend some time going around this area looking for stuff. What are you? Oh, an eel. Are you Smelly Boy? Did you follow me, Smelly Boy? No, Rivet. Different guy. Ah, those glowing, flowing patterns. Mesmerizing, eh? Uh, you ever try getting any closer? Nah, I keep my distance. I've heard weird stories about what goes on in there. Hmm, yeah. That's what I'm worried about. Whoa, it goes deep. Look what you can see. There's like a little shape of a some kind of shark or something down there. I want to check what's up first, though. Because I do think checking the water's surface has so far done really well. For this place is also cool. We'll get a good look at that in a second. I just want to go all the way up. Oh, that whale. Cobalt. What a cool friend. And there's a, a manta ray. Oh, something over there. I just feel like if you look at it across the top, it's like easy to see things at a distance. Oh, it even goes up on land. Interesting. Okay, what do we got here? I gotta remember, there's no pages, so it's just uh, fish that I'm looking for. What are you? Are you a little sea cucumber? Or a little sea slug? What's up? Oh, you're cute. Mole. I do a lot of my best thinking out here, far away from everyone else. It's fun. Go ahead. Let your mind wander. Okay. Have any good thoughts yet? I think I had a few. Just gotta remember what they were. Hmm. Okay, okay. Kelp forest. Okay. So, let's go down a little bit further. So, this is a neat... Neat spot. Man, what a weird biosphere type deal, you know? Let's, uh... Wow. This game's gorgeous. We're not gonna talk to this person until we've checked everything else that we can. Alright, there's the loudspeaker. And then it looks like maybe there's something inside. Oh, cool. All right. And then down there, there's somebody as well. Am I hearing dolphin noises? No, that's a shark. Okay. What's up, Sharky? Citron. Oh, uh, hello. Um, how are, uh, can I help you? Shark! Just want to say hi. Well, uh, thank you. See, I'm not used to anyone talking to me. Talking to me. Areas tend to clear out whenever I'm around. Everyone gets nervous. But all I'm doing is exploring. I'm just curious. Oi! See you again. Thanks for being brave enough to be around me. I'm trying to understand the accent that they're going for here. Well, gotta get back to exploring now. Cheers, mate. Oh, uh, so he's gotta be Australian then. He's supposed to be Australian. Oh, cheers, mate. All right. Well, then, let's go talk to that loudspeaker, I guess. This is interesting. There's, like, these rocks of reef that have been attached to this. Hmm. But these are all gods, right? It's just weird, because it seems like this is something that a person would do, not a god. Now then, any particular reason you're loitering outside my lab? That caught my attention. I haven't seen anything else, like, in the ocean. I'm a bit lost, actually. I was hoping to find some answers here. Hmm, is that so? Well, can't say I blame you. This station of mine is one of a kind. How can I help you then? I'd like to learn more about this place. Ha! I don't really do tours. Much too busy for that. But you're welcome to have a look while I work if you like. You'll just need to let me scan you beforehand. Mm, safety protocol. That okay with you? Uh, makes sense. Let's do it. How does the scanning procedure work? The information I collect will only be used to assess you as a potential threat. Nothing personal. That's how I keep the lab safe. I'll keep the data for archival purposes, but that's all there is to it. Does that seem fair? Uh, makes sense. Let's do it. Very good. I'm going to open the first door in front of you. Just step in once you're at it. I mean, I, I'm not too worried about this. The door shall be open now. You still want to see the lab? Head into the scanning chamber, if so. Okay. Uh, real quick, before we do that, I do want to see what's all the way down at the bottom. Because we've already seen all the fish, right? Yeah, so it's not like there's any collectibles. But I'm so curious about what's, what's here, you know? 
Like, I could see this being where we go to get to the, the final god. Oh, I can't even go down any further now. So yeah, I'm betting that once we unlock all of this, we have to go to the deepest depths to see the final god. That would actually make a lot of sense. Okay. Because we're in the mid-seas, so then the deep sea would make sense to be the final one, right? The Dodge Baba now. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. I was just clicking. I was just clicking. Perfect! Now, stay right there. You won't be able to move during the procedure, but don't worry. It only takes a few seconds. Fwoom. Fwoom. Hmm. All right. And, hmm, that teleport you're carrying, it's one of my old prototypes. Well, no worries. Feel free to keep it. The version I'm using now is much better. Anyway, the scan results are looking good. Congratulations. You are not an obvious threat. I'll open the second door for you. Just follow the tunnels right ahead. Okay. I'm just curious about this whole thing. Like, look at these. This has got, like, little plants. It's like some kind of metal or something, like ore. Hmm. Okay. Oh, th this game is gorgeous, I gotta say. Like, the graphics for, like, the fish and everything are kind of cartoony looking, but the environments are very impressive with, like, the, the reflections and stuff. It's a really neat combination of factors. Oh, what's this? Whoa! Can I, like, observe? This looks like a, tele a telescope, right? Isn't that what it looks like? Maybe maybe they'll let me use it later. But now I can come up that way. Alright, um... Well, let's check each of these doors. I came through that one. So, we're gonna do... What Price likes to do, I think. Which is, uh, Clockwise. If I did this correctly. Oh, look! Those guys are moving. Cute. Oh, and that takes me back outside. Okay. Like, which one are you in? Oh, she's up there. Oh, okay. Oh, go up the middle. Okay, and those all just probably just lead outside. Hello! 